Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, I'm going to finalize or finish this particular end-to-end -end test and write the remaining test cases to validate some of the create issue. Or basically, we have done the create user story, right? Now, the last call in this whole process was after creating the user story, we want to get the details of the user story and match few of the details. So I'll explain you one pointer there and then similar concept you can apply if you want to verify the other attributes of the response as well okay so now we have basically when we are creating the user story okay then we were passing this issue title right and this issue title was basically a random phrase okay so random phrase it's a postman uh, functionality basically if you just have the dollar and random phrase it will generate a random phrase and that is passed as a title in the body here because I'm storing it as a title and in the issue title collection variable. So from the collection variable, this issue title is being picked and it's being passed. And when the issue got created, right, when the issue got created, this issue will have that particular title, right? And when I fetch this particular issue, then I should be able to get that title. Basically, if I do get issue, then I should be able to see that title right so if i send this particular request here okay you'll see the response and if we scroll down here you will see the exact title that has been passed okay so this is the summary the summary the, the, the title that we passed this is what has been stored in a variable because it is generated randomly so now if I want to validate that whatever I have passed in the previous request, whatever summary I have passed in or title I have passed in, exactly the same I'm able to get in the get request for the new issue that got created, right? Very valid test case. So let's go ahead and start writing the test for it, okay? So in order to write the test, what I'll do is I'll go to the test here, okay? The first thing that we need to do is basically, because this is a such a huge response, you can see that there are 216 lines of the JSON response. So the first thing is to basically, I'll define a variable. Okay, so I'll say response. And then I'll simply have that response, okay, as a JavaScript object. Okay, so I'll just say JSON and then simply let's print it so that we are, we can easily work on it, right? So we can basically analyze where exactly, which particular field we have to go to fetch that particular title right so i'll simply print this response on the console okay and send. let me clear the console first so let me clear it and send this particular request so you'll see now it has printed that object so basically there is an expand okay and then below that parent there is a field child right so basically fields so in the response we have first thing is basically at the same level if you see expand id self key is fields so i can say okay in order to get any detail below the fields, I can simply say, okay, response, whatever response we are getting, and then say dot fields, okay, then it will reach to this field level, okay, so I should be getting the detail of only fields next time, right, so if you'll see in the fields, you will have the first child was status category, and everything below that has been printed, right, so in the next print, you'll see in the next statement here in the console, everything below that has been printed so now in order to get any of the value below it we simply can use the dot notation and i have explained about dot and bracket notation you can use either so here we can straight away check where exactly that particular summary field is right so i'll scroll down keep scrolling down you will see summary is just below that so i can simply say dot summary and it should fetch me this detail right which is coming from the get issue right guess get issue detail right so i can now say okay fields dot summary to get the summary right and i'll send it and on the console you will see that it has printed the summary that is available in the get issue call that is actually there for that particular issue okay so now in order to write the test in order to validate that yes this summary matches to the summary that we have actually passed from the previous request okay from this create issue type story we passed a summary okay here you will see that here we pass the issue title which is the summary and then when we are getting the issue that got created we are trying to 
match that this issue title that we have passed in the post request matches to this one right very valid test case and this is how you are going to write your test so i will simply go ahead and here we'll go take this snippet right so to make it little quick i'll simply go to the postman snippet and i will say json value check response body json value check okay so let me simply add this snippet here all right minimize it and now what we are going to test is i'll simply name uh, rename the test as summary match this summary match okay and now here within this this line is exactly the same that we have done here right so they are defined the variable right so within the snippet we have defined this particular variable we can we can remove it right from here we can keep this response at the top okay and now within this test what we are doing is we will simply say okay pm.expect okay and now what exactly we are trying to check we are trying to check that the response dot fields dot summary okay whatever we are getting from the response okay whatever we are getting from the response dot field dot summary this text that we are getting for this particular attribute the summary attribute within response and fields okay so there is a response parent child and the child of it which is summary that summary to equal what to equal the summary or the title that we have passed when we created the issue and where is that title stored we stored it in a collection variable right so if you remember here we have stored it in the collection variable where how because in the pre request script of this post call we said okay generate this random phrase and also store it in this collection variable with name issue title okay so this random phrase got created with pm dot collection variable dot replace in method okay and then got stored into the title and title is then set to the collection variable with the name issue title so i can basically get whatever is stored in the collection variable here and then try to match with what is there so this is coming from the response right so this is basically coming from the response response dot field dot summary i am trying to match it with what is stored in the collection because that was generated prior to we send the call okay prior to we created the issue so here let me quickly run this okay and see what will be the response so here we are trying to match it equal to 100 right so it should actually fail all right so you'll see that assertion expected try to so it fails deeply equal 100 right basically here it is getting that particular random text that we have passed okay as a summary but we are trying to match it with it with 100 now we have to match it with what we with, with the title that we have sent while creating the issue how we can get the variables that are stored we have the we have also understood that right so pm dot because we have stored it at the collection level right so we'll say collection variables dot get right so as we set the variable we can also get the variable right and then we can provide the key the string okay the name of the variable so what we can do we can say okay issue title right so you'll see that issue title we can simply fetch that so now this pm dot collection variable dot get issue title will fetch me whatever is stored in the issue title this was the title that we generated randomly and passed in the create issue request okay which got stored in at the collection level we stored it so that we can then match it when the issue actually got created into the jira instance then we get that particular issue that yes we get the details of the issue and try to match the title that yes actually the issue got created and we can see that the issue title matches to the title that we have sent right this is what we are trying to do we are saying okay expect that the response uh, the json response of the get issue and the summary field matches to what we are we have actually created or what what summary whatever summary we have passed in right so now if i send this particular request okay so you'll see summary match and there is a pass okay and we have already seen that if there is something which fails here say for example i change it to a value which doesn't exit exist at, at all at the collection level right this test is going to fail because it is not going to find that particular value okay so this assertion is now working absolutely fine you'll see the test is passing so this is basically how we are going to write 
our end-to-end -end test case, right? So this is now finalized and finished test case wherein we are creating the, the particular issue type, okay, a story. And this is kind of the very starting point, you can say, but this is good enough for you to expand any complex scenarios right now if you if we talk about a tool like jira or an application like jira there are thousands of apis that are available right now testers would have tested or spent a lot of time testing different combination different um, scenarios around the possibilities of all those apis right so for example you can imagine in order to test this create issue of a particular type even the api testing we have done so much work around there right but once you learn it right it's more of just replicating all of that knowledge and it will be really quick to formulate all your complex test cases and you can automate hundreds and thousands of test cases with the same approach okay so we have basically got all the details that are required to create the issue type okay then we have created the issue and then we got the issue detail okay and then match that issue summary, one of the attribute only uh, for, for the starting. But now you can basically, now you know that if I need to go ahead and validate some other details in this response, how you are going to validate right? Uh, validate that, right? Fetching the value, getting the, uh, storing the values in the collection variable in different variable, fetching those values, matching to the response, all of those concepts are now clear as part of this end-to-end -end test okay so this is basically all about this particular video all right and i'll touch base on more postman features in the upcoming video so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful keep learning keep growing thank you